So, well, uh, hey, first, thanks for meeting. Uh, yeah. Let me, let me uh, first of all, don't, I don't want you feeling like your contract with, the, with us is at any kind of peril. I don't want you thinking that. But here's, here's the change, uh, Jay, and here's why I needed to talk to you. So Joe is new. He's new to ComEd. Right. And you may or may not know this. Probably a lot of detail that you don't know. There's a lot of detail I don't know. But your contract is under Joe Dominguez's budget. Right. It's always been under the CEO's right. budget. Okay. Back uh, to Frank. So does it go all the way back to Frank? How long ago? Well, I started working for Commonwealth Edison Company, thank you, Lord, in 1985. 1985. And so, but at that time, initially it was... Jim O'Connor and Don Petkus. Okay. And then it went to Frank, and then it was Frank and John. Okay. And, you know, when I got bumped up to a big number, you may recall this. At one time, I don't know how many years ago, but it was probably 20 or 18 or 15, 15 maybe, maybe more. Commonwealth Edison was owed a lot of money by the city. A lot. Yes. Yeah. And then CTA owed this, and they said, you don't know how to do your bills. Street lights. Street lights owed this, and you know how to do it. Uh, and at that time, it was uh, Gary Chico at Alzheimer and Gray, Miles Berman at Alzheimer and Gray, and, and me. But Gary well, that, was, that goes a long ways, because first time I met Miles, he was already with Foley. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, but then it was. And, yeah, well, Gary was at all time. I just remember because of John Rowe. But anyway, and Frank Clark called us in. I know, I know was, I was there, and I think Miles was there. And he shut the door. He said, listen, you know, the city owes us. 59 million or 74 million. Wow, was it that much? Well, part was Park District, okay. part of was school, okay. part of was this, and it was a whole lot of money. But it was either 59 or 70 or something. It was, it was something because we presented Frank with a check, a big check, about the size of that picture there, a little bigger, with the, whenever we collected. And at that time, it's funny how you remember this stuff. So we went out, and everybody said, we said, I think it was Miles and me. I don't think Gary, I'm Gary was kind of running a firm, but we don't want to make any enemies. Yeah. You know, but yeah. my board, when they see, it was 70 million, give or take. Wow. Yeah, but among the sister agencies. Sure, 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 but still, the, total. Yeah, a lot of money. And, oh, we had, I know what, it, you had just changed from something, and you hired Accenture or something for a new billing system. So oh, so that was like, that was like 98. Okay. We yeah. put that new building system new in. New building system. 97, and, and, 98. And, 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 and it and, didn't work. And, 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 well, the people in the cities, you know, I'll leave out this word, which is, the hell with you, you know. And they'll, they'll okay. Up. And so we would go over to General Services, I think Pleasbert was there, whoever was there, and we'd go over to this department and that department and the other department, and we went over to the park district, and we collected the money. So at the end of it, and Frank was very, very happy. He was very happy to get the money. He was exceptionally happy that we're no, mis no, you know, nobody was mad. At no him. dead bodies, and right? Da and Daly wasn't mad because Daly, as you know, was you know I don't need to tell you, he got so hot. Anyway, and he was, pleased. and he said, uh, he said, Jay, I've paid Gary. Keep going there for him, whatever they paid him, whatever. He said, I want to pay you. I said, Frank, you know, a big big check. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it was like a couple hundred thousand. You know, because, because this, we would have hired lawyers. Blah, 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 blah. I said, Frank, you know what I'd rather have? I'd rather have, I played the long game. I'd rather have just keep me on and use me and, and use me. And, you know, I love the game. We're, at that time, we're starting to get the city club going again. Frank, I remember way in the beginning, before the city club, they had as many members as could fit at this table. Mm. Gave the city club twenty-five thousand dollars, right about that time. Wow. You know, and just to 
Jay, we believe in what you're doing over there. We like, we had, you know, we always conclude comment and excellent always. You guys are there in the beginning. And I said, just bump it up. You know, you, you come up with a number, and he came up with a number. And that's how it got into the 20,000. Okay. And, it, and we just spread it over time. And then came along, again, this is just you and me talking. I don't even know who else knows this. Uh, John Hooker called. He said, "Jay, I got a sub for you. Uh, uh, you know, a sub, uh, a sub, a sub, a subcontractor. Uh, Olivo, Frank okay. Olivo. He said, you know, just we're gonna pay him every month, and you just, I'll, I think you, I think John said I'll talk to Fidel, or I, I don't know how, I don't know who he talks. I don't know who he talks. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that predated me because when I was right. working with you." We were just working on city stuff, and it was just me and you and Miles. Okay. And when I was uh, when I first got here from Ops, Frank Olivo wasn't even oh, alderman God, anymore. That's right, you it, came over from Ops. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. 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 It seemed like I've been here yeah, forever, well, but I mean, I've known you, and I've really yeah. become great friends. Uh, and then came on, I think Ray Nice, okay, who ran the recorder of Deeds Office, and okay. then came on. For a while, uh, Moody, Ed Moody, who's okay. now recorder of deeds. I mean, it's, it was Cook County, before his Cook County assessor, and then uh, and then now Mike Zaleski. Yeah. So I don't know if that was, I just can't remember if Mike McLean was part. I think it was really John Hooker who always just called me. Yeah. And said, "Hey, you know, I just want to. I'm going to slug this guy on." And so then it went. Up to whatever it is, say thirty-seven thousand dollars. So it looks like I'm making a billion dollars. Yeah. So that's so, and that and that's you know I'm gonna. Uh, this is something Joe's got to approve. Yeah. Right. And I got to go to Joe and say, I know you're new here. You right. know Jay. Right. Here's here's that. So uh, he's gonna ask questions. Sure. Right. And, and how and how did it get this way and stuff like that. Right. Um. So, um, as far as I know. Maybe you could tell me different. Um, all these guys do is, you know, they're a sub under you, and you cut them a check. Do they do anything, or what do they do? What do you have them doing? When, not much, is okay. the answer to the question. Okay. Not, not much. What, let me just answer this. If I ever ask, need anything from, you know, in general, I would ask him. But this is really all, this is, you know, just you and me talking. Yeah. This all came from Poker, McLean, Frank. Okay. And I don't mean, I, I don't talk to Frank only. I mean, that one of my dad died and was right, right, and right. stuff like that. But I don't say, go do this in Springfield. Right. Go do this at the city council. Go do that. Ray Nice, I met with him a couple of times. Ed Moody, I mean, I see him, but I don't, you know, but I don't do anything specific. But I do know that every six or eight or nine months, every once in a while, Hooker will call and say, is everything okay with the guys or whatever? Okay. Because I know John sees the chairman, uh, the, the, the speaker. I see. So, I don't think I'd tinker with that. Okay. I really, I really. I, 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 you know, I just got to go to Joe and, oh, yeah, and, yeah. And, and explain it to him yeah. the best I could. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just not sure what kind of questions he's got. So, I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself, Jay, yeah. for what questions well, uh, he how, might have. Here's how I might. Uh, so number one, your money comes from Springfield. Combat money, right? I mean, for the most part. You mean that's how we make our money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready. Through our rates, yes. And you know, I would. For me, and again, I'm, Mike Maddie is not my best friend. But if I called him right now, he'd call her. He'd say, "Jay, if I want to see him, I'd go see him." But my bottom line advice would be: if it ain't broke, don't fix it. With those guys, okay. I, I don't think. You know, you've been around the game, and you know, and again, Maddie doesn't ask. I never, ever once had a conversation with Mike about these people. Mm -hmm. But I know that I have every reason to believe 
that McLean has. Okay. I know Hooker has. Okay. Because Hooker would call me with, I mean, I didn't throw these guys. I don't even met these guys. Yeah. I mean, I met Olivo because what you guys... Oh, well, he used to be an alderman. Council, yeah. And uh, 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 Zaleski, I know well. And, when he was the alderman. Yeah. Right, right. And uh, they keep their mouth shut and, you know, so... But do they do anything for me on a day-to-day -day basis? No. no. All right. Yeah, yeah. And that may be tough for a guy from out of town to swallow or whatever, but, man, I don't think I'd change it. I, I know I wouldn't change it. Well, you know, Frank set this up. Um, Frank and Ann had a good, you know, so Ann was Frank's pick. Yeah. He mentored yeah. her. Right. Showed her the craft, right? Um, so Ann, you know, there was this was never Ann. I never even touched it. She just yeah, she just yeah. approved it, and now Joe he's going to you know this is coming up, and he's got to sign off on it right under his right. budget. And he probably doesn't, and I'm sure he's not aware. I know he's not aware. Yeah. And uh, I want to sit down with them and say, hey, by the way, I think yeah. this is a four hundred thousand dollar budget, and and yeah. here's what it is. And he's going to have questions, and I'm just trying to prepare myself, Jay. Yeah. No. 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 Absolutely. I'm and I'm I'm just trying to think where you would get fortification, you know, and just so. Uh, let's see. He probably wouldn't. Well, you actually it was predated you collecting all that money. Yeah. You know. Uh, uh, Eighty-five. You you've been working for ComEd almost as long as I have. Yeah, but when I started out, when I started out, it was ten thousand dollars a year. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Well, wow. A year. That's less than a thousand a month. Right. It was eight hundred thirty-three thirty-three. But I. Jim O'Connor didn't know me well, but he did ask me. He came in, and he, you know, the, the, the other thing is going forward. If I'm on your side of the trade here, and this is just something, well, tomorrow we're all going to be together with Dan Hines. JB called and said, I want him, and JB's going to come, and he's going to have the other three deputy governors come. Well, we're all going to be at the table tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a big table, but, yeah. you know. Okay. You guys earned it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got excellent since O'Connor, but especially Frank and John. They really put their shoulder. They saw the value of being able to sit next to people in soft situations, and where you're not just sitting there saying, "Hey, I need this from the ICC." Right. I need this from right. the ICC. You know, they 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 know very very well the value of. A good relationship. Yeah, and, and, and a soft relationship. A soft one, yes. What well, you guys have done with just a Special Olympics as an example, and just and the, and the city club, the city club. You know, anyway. But yeah, you'll all be there. You, you, yeah. So when I sent you an email, I said, you know, included. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. You go, you, oh, what the hell? Well, you know, three of us yeah. at a table is like that's a lot. There's fourteen. We got a big table. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. And I say this lovingly. If anybody believes there, or if anybody belongs there, it's you. Thank you. Because you've been there. There's no, I tell everybody, no one more loyal, more grateful. But, okay, so Joe, or Fidel, why would we pay a guy like Dory and these other three people all this money? I don't know about the other three people. That's that. That's just going to be answered in Springfield with Madigan. And to, to keep Mike Madigan happy, I think it's worth it. I mean, just because you'd hear otherwise. Okay. I mean, I... My opinion would he? I don't. I never talked to him about it. Yeah. But I didn't have to. Yeah. But Hooker has. Yeah. And you know, do you talk with John much? Yeah, I talked to John. I talked to John. He'll know the he'll know the story, and he'll know the story about collecting all the dough. 